Um, Senator Nelson, I've got to take issue with your characterization of the fact that this bill is somehow unrecognizable. Uh, the four main principles of Governor Dugard's reforms are all still in the bill. State-mandated, statewide standardized teacher evaluations, all still in the bill. There's no local control. We can't opt out of that, so that's still there in the bill. Merit, yes. Merit pay, still in the bill. Principles there. We can opt not to take the money at all, if you call that control. But we, if we opt to take the money, we have to propose a plan and a board, five members of which are appointed by the governor out of seven, tell us whether or not they like the plan. And if they don't like the plan, we do 20% merit pay. That's not local control. That's us begging permission, and then maybe we get the money if they like it. Merit pay is still there, and also hasn't been proven to work, but it's still there. Totally recognizable. Math and science. State is mandating an overemphasis on math and science at, uh, and not recognizing the value of communication skills, foreign language, fine arts, English, drama, you name it. We're still prioritizing at the state level math and science and adding extra merit bonuses specifically for math and science teachers. That's new in the bill, but the math science emphasis is still there. It's Governor Dugard's principle, totally recognizable. Hasn't changed, still there. And then denying us our continuing contract rights. Now, I shouldn't say us. I don't have it yet. I probably never will. I might make it if they hire me back here for 2016. But fact is, Governor Dugard's main principle of taking away continuing contract rights from teachers is still there. So on the four main points of this bill, it's still totally recognizable and still totally bad. So my question, I do have one is given that we've got four bad policies on the table, I don't care if you're talking about implementing them next year, 2016, or Timbuktu, they're all bad policies, whenever you implement them. Given the fact that I can list you a whole passel of research-proven policies, hiring more teachers to provide after-school tutoring in a one-on-one -on -one session, increasing foreign language education, Te research shows that boosts test scores, more fine arts education, more staff to handle that kind of stuff, more communication practice, more speech practice or classes for students. I can give you research that shows all of those work. You invest the money in that, boom, I can guarantee you will get better test scores nine times out of ten. Your plan, you guys either don't have evidence or you've got mixed evidence. So tell me, if we can't backfill the fund, as our teacher says, or, or my colleague says, if we don't have the money for that, why not put in the chute reforms that will actually improve educational achievement rather than saying, well, we've got to rush and throw some spaghetti on the wall, so let's implement the four policies Governor Dugard wants us to do. Why these policies? Why not implement policies that we've got research says work?